probably heard of me, Richard Fitzpatrick, but you can call me Fitz. Hottest pre-owned car salesman this side of Detroit. Hey, shit sack, sell the car already. Relax, I'm on it. If she wants you to go down on her, put a snorkel on and die. Mike and I met Sherry Elwood, I think back in 2007, and uh, talked to her about a bunch of different projects. This one in particular really caught our eye. We thought it was something we hadn't seen before. It was a character that we'd never really seen on TV before. The writing was spectacular, and we decided to option it from her and see if we could get a, a broadcaster attached. What kind of a man sabotages another man's life? No, no, it's not sabotage. I'm your conscience, and this, this is a present! Happy sobriety! I had been out for lunch with my grandmother one day, actually, and I think my, my brother had said some, some outrageous thing, being, you know, a single, fun-loving guy in his 20s, and she said, you know, the only way that boy's ever gonna get any sense is if he goes out to lunch with his conscience. And I said, huh, that's a very interesting idea, and that always kind of stuck with me. And from now on, until you learn to become a respectable human being, uh, we're partners. Yeah, you you need to learn how to be good, and I'm gonna teach you how to do it. Go fuck yourself. A lot of the characters in Call Me Fits are based on people in my life, people in my family, and I take their funny little quirks and then I amplify it by a thousand, and um, hope that they don't notice. Hey, nine and eleven. Try and blow up these two towers. You will soon be washing cars in hell. The show kind of allows its characters to uh, to say those things that you know if we were faced with a similar situation um, we might be thinking but would never vocalize they vocalize it you watch me sell that fucking gt to a woman in a coma that's impossible that'll be a snap a new coat of paint a brief moment of consciousness and voila it's a project that I didn't really want to make unless we made it properly and uh, all the stars finally aligned and uh, found the very perfect cast and the perfect set of writers. I wouldn't have done it any other way and it's, it's all just really worked out. Ring-a-ding-ding, -ding, baby. Ring-a-ding-ding. -ding.